Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. We're here at the National Hurricane Center looking at named storm number six, Faye, along the east coast of the United States. Shouldn't be a high-end hurricane, but nevertheless, it's another named storm of the 2020 season, number six of potentially 20. The forecasted model by the Colorado State University team has changed. Now this is the, the new update. It's 20 now, updated on July the 7th when they first put out their forecast it was 16 named storms then they went to 19 on June the 4th now July the 7th they've updated it once again to 20 named storms and there could be more I think it's going to be one of those seasons where we go through all of the list of names and start a new list it's possible it has happened before they're looking at more than likely four major hurricanes have no idea where they'll make landfall even if they'll make landfall but more than likely, it's going to be above average year for hurricanes and tropical storms. They're basing a lot of this data off of sea surface temperature. The sea surface temperatures are, are very warm, and the wind shear is going to start slowing down across the Caribbean and the Atlantic Basin. So with the absence of wind shear and the increase of warm waters, those are both important components for the formation of hurricanes. Speaking of hurricanes, we had hurricane force winds up in the northern tier back on the 7th into the 8th. There were many reports of 90 plus mile per hour winds throughout North and South Dakota from yet another derecho. And there it is right here at the GO-16. You can see it moving through North and South Dakota, really revved up over in central Minnesota where there was a, a small tornado outbreak. There were big tornadoes, but a small cluster right in there. Um, this was yet another derecho. This is like number four we've seen in 2020. And these things are rare. To see one in, in a year is, is quite rare. We've seen four now. So that storm brought over 300 reports of wind damage throughout multiple states. And again, hurricane force winds, winds of over 90, 93 miles per hour. There were multiple uh, tornadoes in multiple states from that large storm you just saw there. And again, those are rare. They have to meet certain criteria before they can even become a name like derecho. And that one did. It has to be like an organized structure on the ground, so to speak, for over 400 miles. And it did. In fact, it overachieved. It went over 400 miles. And, and these are just the reports that were reported. There were probably 10 times as many that could have been reported. But it was kind of like a land-based hurricane that was rotating. But once again, another derecho in the United States. I think that's number four of this year. I've got a video here sent in by Francisco out of Ecuador. This is from a few weeks back when they had heavy rains. It wasn't a, a derecho, but it brought a lot of hail. In fact, rare hail to the area. Looks like it's flowing down the streets. This storm produced flash flooding and a lot of hail that ended up accumulating on the sidewalks and the roads. And then when the floodwaters came, it picked up the hail and was moving it down the road to where it looked like ice and, and snow. And it looks a lot deeper than what it actually is. That's more water than it is hail. But nevertheless, that's a, a rare hailstorm in Ecuador. Also, I got a video, or actually a couple of videos sent in by JB from far west Texas, near Van Horn, Texas. He stopped his truck, got out, and started filming what looked like twisters. At least one, maybe two, or they're very strong dust devils. That's rotating very uh, quickly, almost looks like a tornado. Luckily, it was out in a rural area. There were no farms or homes out there. He watched this for several minutes. And again, this comes from far western Texas. Back on July the, the 9th, you can see some dust devils way back in the distance there. But this one over here to the right is very organized. Uh, looks like a strong, I like I said, dust devil or a tornado. Great observation by, by JB. He was driving down the road and noticed that way off in the distance and got a, a good video of it. Got in very tight. He was probably, as you can see here, a mile away from that thing. He was a safe distance away so he could easily record it. And there was a, a small storm system that went over West Texas that produced that maybe a twister or a very strong dust devil. Don't know. There it is right there. It's a good look at it. 
cloud to ground contact I'll leave that up to you guys to decide it's a very impressive dust devil if it was a dust devil here's a new picture slideshow I put together new sky phenomena I sent in from all around the world check this out Andrew from Tasmania how do you describe that right there what is that you guys ever see anything like that he spotted that above Tasmania I would have done the same thing took pictures that is very rare don't even know how to describe it Winnipeg Manitoba Angela and Carrie T massive storm cloud up in the sky that looked like a cruise ship up in the air here's the radar of the storm there's another look at the storm that again reminded me of a, a huge cruise ship sitting up in the sky look at that thing incredible photos out of Manitoba great job guys Milford Massachusetts Annabelle got some amazing lighting here that was bright purple check that out very low to the ground it looks like it's sitting on the ground Hillsboro Texas Anna got a long roll cloud stretching as far as she could see in both directions look at that thing spans for miles here it is in a inverted format so you can kind of see how far it actually goes goes as far as you can see Barbie and Dave out of Connecticut big hailstone from about a week ago St. George Utah Bonnie a spectacular jumbo halo around the Sun Alberta Canada Betty s got some more unique color around the Sun and then she noticed this I don't know if that's some sort of a, a glare more than likely it is a, a lens reflection but it's got some unusual line through the center of it I, I don't know it's just got some unique features that are unique that's all I can say about it I have no idea what that is good observation though Edmonton Alberta Candace M got more color around the Sun another big halo up there behind the clouds Boston this photo was sent in from Boston on the 4th of July there was a flyover on the 4th Chris B out of Mississippi another spectacular roll cloud very very low to the ground and that one is ominous looking look at how dark that is turned day into night almost incredible Cindy C out of Lyman Wyoming this here looked like it was rotating in the sky big hole or opening in the sky where light was coming through then there was a, a circular cloud motion you can see rain shafts back in the background Danielle out of Anthem Arizona very unique clouds spanning across the sky Dara L out of Seminole County lightning strike making contact with the ground looked like a twister over there Black Canyon City Arizona Dave B this is from a camera outside the house and you can see for whatever reason somehow a cross appeared in the sky that's exactly how I received these photos there were two photos sent in by Dave and that's why he sent them because a cross appeared in the sky how about that Deborah K out of the United Kingdom awesome photos of the moon from the UK Dino got yet another big halo around the Sun been seeing a lot of these lately Dominique out of Port-au-Prince Haiti spectacular skies down in the Caribbean look at the double rainbow very intense coming down over the city look at that almost going straight up in the air that thing is huge great photos by Dominique L Elud out of Puerto Rico one of the most intense halos I think I've ever seen look at that that is awesome and it's got like a stem coming off of the bottom of it that's unedited that's how I received that and it reminded me of a sunflower with the stem see the stem underneath it stem underneath the sunflower just an amazing photo out of Puerto Rico Binghamton New York Don D noticed some clouds spanning across the sky that were being influenced by the wind so they got very streaky and made streaks across the sky look at this pano here incredible Douglas out of Colorado looking at the moon coming up over the horizon here it is up in the sky Great photos by Douglas out of Colorado. Photo here Douglas shared of what looks like a triangle up in the orange clouds. Great observation. More orange, fiery red skies here. Awesome photos out of Colorado. Andrew from New Jersey. Yet another very long roll cloud up in the sky. Huge structure. Indiana, Elizabeth. Ominous looking sky here. Black, gold, and orange. Getting ready to storm. Holly, Michigan. James S. This was at 2 a.m and the sky was glowing at 2 a.m. great observation by James out of Holly Michigan here's yet another big roll cloud up in the sky high above Chicago but the the cloud itself is very low 
but that is one big roll cloud. Here's another one. We got that split sky phenomenon where it's solid clouds on one side. And then over here, you got bright blue skies. That photo was taken by Julie Kay out of, out of Cabot, Arkansas. Very thick blanket up in the sky. Then that sharp contrast between light and dark. Here's another one out of Bakersfield, California, sent in by G-Man. Big wall cloud over here that reaches up into the sky. And, and you got that contrast again between blue skies and thick clouds. That's what caught his attention. Fireworks here from St. Genevieve, Missouri, sent in by Kristen H. And the Buck Moon. Good photos. Mac B out of Oklahoma. Looks like we might have another twister way off in the distance, Mac noticed and zoomed in. That definitely looks like a twister. That's from a few days ago, but the video was from the 9th out of West Texas. If you guys are new viewers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on this bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you're current subscribers, simply double check. Make sure you're still subscribed and make sure that bell is still activated. If you guys have any photos, you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr mbb 333.com all the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery and sometimes i'll use them in a picture slideshow just like you saw right here thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there